Hey guys, so I'm here with Adam. Adam Simmons, who's got a BMW Z4 with an LS3 in it. Thank you, because I was going to get it wrong. Uh, and he's with Slide Motorsport, so he's just going to give us a wee, sh sh wee look around. So, uh, might as well start at the party end. Uh. Yeah, engine. <laughs> right, engine. And so, is this a, a, um, a standard LS3? Totally, bog standard LS3. Uh -huh. Uh, literally nothing done to it other than the headers. Let's move around that uh, way so we can just get a bit more light in it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically I've gone for a standard engine because I wanted the reliability out of it. So. Yeah. And you you were running before you were running uh was it uh Skyline JZ and you kinda had it. I was just wrecking gearboxes, drive all drive trains and just couldn't take it, so gone with a standard engine. It, hopefully be as reliable as possible. Uh, right gearbox for engine, so I'll have no clutch issues, no gearbox. So issues. what what gearbox does this run? Uh, it runs, uh, I think it's a Camaro gearbox, okay. the TR6060. Yeah, because this is from a Corvette, which has the rear mounted gearbox, yeah, gearbox doesn't it? Back, rear rear back, the, the, and stuff. the back, so. Uh, but it, and you're running uh, Link? Yeah, Link Thunder. Uh, guys that link up and we up like that like uh, can't find them enough for the ECU really and all if uh, the whole car were built at uh, Black Custom uh -huh. like Jason's done the whole all the fab work the engine the wiring Jason did absolutely everything so there is a front, but so, uh, is this done on purpose in case you want to turbocharge it earlier? <laughs> no, right? no. I never, never did. Turbo, so what? Yeah. What kind of what kind of power are you making out of that? Uh, about 400 at wheel. Oh really? That's yeah. a decent amount. Yeah. So what? What? And what size is an LS3? What kind of? 6.2. 6.2 liters. Yeah, we put the exhaust forward just because the floor pan on this is pretty much flat. Oh, okay. So they won't be. To run it as low as I run it, they won't be in the room for the exit. So I'd run it out of the front bumper, uh, out of the front wings. <laughs> some nice flames out front. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Flames and yeah. pops and bangs are like, it's one of the things that there's no use to it whatsoever, really. But it does look really cool. Yeah. It's, and that's what drifting is. Yeah, uh, the idea behind this car, because I had so many issues with my old car, they just literally done everything as simple as possible. Like, this probably, I think there's about 10 fuses and 4 relays in it, the the wiring simple, the engine, literally all bolt on parts, wires bad, a uh, couple of arms on back as well. So you, you were mentioning about this, that, that it's saying it's, an, it's pretty much an E46 underneath. Yeah, underneath I've put all, all E46 M3 running gear, uh -huh. so the subframes, the rear dip, shafts, all the brakes, everything that we and that means so like you're just using like your wise fab is going to be yeah, like the C4 E46 all stuff. the rear adjustable arm the E46 coil overs everything and the other thing is that you were saying that this has got like the same wheelbase yeah. as a uh, well when I was building it everyone was like you meant all building this car but I looked into it and it's got exactly the same wheelbase as an S14. So yeah. Like BMW's a grip and E46 is a good grippy car. Yeah. This is a little bit shorter, but it's the same wheelbase as the 14, so it should work. And yeah. Gamble paid off really. Like, <laughs> and it is, it's really, it's different. Like yeah, to see one of these is really. It goes well. Really yeah. Quick and, yeah. Uh, I'm on the moon with it, it's literally we've had zero issues with it up to now. Uh huh. Work out of the box. Awesome. So, what do you run on your? So, you've got Wise Fab front. Wise Fab front. Uh, do you just run? Do you, what kind of setup do you have for like coilovers and that? Is oh, it PC a, coilovers? Uh, Wise Fab front. Uh, Dorenza rear rear arms. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty so the rear's a, a Wise Fab rear as well. No, Dorenza. Oh, Dorenza, Dorenza okay. Oh, Dorenza just like we even radiator still in front. We're not literally just trying to do everything as simple as possible. We're just have a reliable car yeah. rather than one that's going to break all the time. So do you, how do you run your suspension setup? Do you have like quite a bit of toe in or is it just kind of... Uh, yeah, toe back in, uh, obviously toe front out, yeah. four degrees camber. And, uh, yeah. 
works. Uh, the rear, any camber on the rear at all, or is it zero, just zero, zero, zero on the rear? And do you do you find on that suspension does it to, does it uh, adjust as the suspension moves up and down, or do you think? I'm not hundred percent sure. I've done like five, six days in it, uh, so I'm not. We're not, we're not getting to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet, so. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Huge gauge. <Yeah. laughs> All minimalistic inside, literally. Oh my god, so look at that. Yeah, so uh, that's an Accu sump, which is uh, that allows you. That's it. Basically, when you start the car up, uh -huh. it fills the Accu sump up with oil. Then, if you've got any drops in oil pressure, it squirts a bit of oil back into the engine. So, it's done to you basically, so you don't have what I'm on. Yeah, so, you ne so basically, you're never losing oil yeah. pressure. Whatever happens, like, uh, so. Uh, and inside, it's properly stripped out. You have yeah. nothing in here. Literally nothing. That uh, way, the, the idea of just do everything as basic as possible, less stuff to go wrong. I don't stuff in way if you need to fix anything. Yeah, fix anything. It's like, yeah, you, to get at anything. Literally, there's just the fuses there in the centre console. Yeah. And. Yeah, that. Then on the back, so this is all like clamshell. So, so one big clamshell yeah. just comes off. That all just comes off in one piece. You can take roof off, take the back off. Oh yeah, so it's still convertible as yeah, hell, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, we were at Silverstone a couple of weeks ago, uh -huh. and uh, we took the roof off, and literally you couldn't see anything. <laughs> the cab just filled up with smoke. Like, it must be like a low pressure zone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we need to, we're going to make a, like a, a bin that goes on bolts and roll gates, so it's not tearing when it's off. Oh no, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. See if we can get underneath here. Oh yeah. And again, it's just—it's quite a sharp overhang at the rear, isn't it? Yeah. That, yeah. This will be the first time I'll have been like, trying it on any wall or anything. Obviously, my old skyline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a steep uh, way. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to be that <laughs> steep a learning curve. Yeah, well. um, and what kind of what is the body kit that's on here? Is yeah, it uh, uh, basically I've bought the mould off of the only other Z4 in UK oh, yeah. that's a drift yeah. car. Uh, he sold it now, Martin Griffith. I bought the mould for the clamshell off of him. So we made that. But these are GT86 rear rocket money arches. Oh, cool. He made fit onto it. The front ones. I made them. They're, uh, so I started with 350Z rocket bunny art, and then to about there, then all the front bits custom. Oh. They, they didn't fit at all. But, as you can see, I got in a bit of an accident in Cadwell. So <laughs> just split all that. And all here. <laughs> it's amazing how well a rat hides <laughs> something like that, though, isn't it? Yeah. If a car's all one colour, you're like, whoa, that's really bad. No, a couple more stickers, <laughs> and she's good. Um, so, and, like, as far as so the entire brake system and all that is just all that's M3. all M3 yeah. stuff, and uh, again, we'll make it super easy for like changing things because yeah, it's accessible any parts that are in the UK and things. And yeah, I think um, I think that's it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no Thanks very much for that. So, where can we we can see you at Slide Motorsport? Uh, slide Motorsport. Yeah. Uh, uh, slides up there a lot. Uh, and Clark Custom with Jason, who used to work at Slide, set up his own shop. He built the whole car, I did bodywork on it. Literally between us, we did everything. Cool. Uh, I mean, the build got done half at Slide, half at Jason's shop, but can't find both Slide and Clark Custom enough, really, for the build. Well, good luck this weekend. Cheers. And we're looking to make sure that you don't hit the wall too hard. I'll try not to. I'll try not to. <laughs> See you later. I'll have to put that in if I do it. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't. <laughs>